Good morning. We should probably do something about this. Oh my god. Well, that's about the hackiest shower wash in the history of hacky shower washes. But it got the job done. I guess I shouldn't be surprised it got dirty so quickly since there are three people with long hair living in this place. I'm so glad I made this my desktop background. So, engineering had to clean the fridge today, and I found this gem. Surprise! Yeah, we're gonna see Guardians of the Galaxy. I gotta go play my You're at the movies, so you see the high caliber storytelling. I've never seen video games being advertised at a movie theater before. It is an East Park beach outing. Woo! Woo! The beach is popular today, so the divvy trucks have to bring replacement bicycles from the other divvy stops. Like meat bones and also a lot of like meat into a broth, 
and you basically like simmer it in a broth for about 10 hours wow. until it becomes really flavorful. And what makes it okay. fun is, is, you know, then you put like the noodles in, but the key point is after all of that is done, when the soup is still hot, you put a lot of vegetables inside. And the vegetables are what gives it that unique like Vietnamese aroma. Um, I see. So like cilantro, you know, a lot of other spices and the bean sprouts, they really add to the effect. These mint leaves are so good. Oh my gosh, I am such a mess right now, but today was actually really fun. After we went to get food at the uh, pho place, or the Vietnamese food place, um, we went and watched Pitch Perfect at Glenn's house, and then we watched a bunch of Taylor Swift music videos. It was the best. Also some Kesha and then we bike home. So I have to take a shower, but then I'm gonna go to sleep. I the remains of a chicken foot. So yeah, we're eating out again for the third time in like two days. Uh, this is dim sum. Honey brunch plus tapas. Tapas brunch. And they're all rolled into one. Okay, I'm in kind of a bad mood right now, so I don't really feel like talking, but I think I should let you know I'm about to try to set up my shelf. Uh, I borrowed a drill from Home Depot, and I unfortunately they made me buy drill bits even though I'm borrowing the drill, so that's good. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to put that up, and hopefully it'll be done in like half an hour, and it'll be super easy, and yeah. Can somebody... What is going on in here? I am totally unprepared for whatever is going on behind this wall. I don't get it. Well, um, it's hanging on the wall. I think I violated the drywall somewhat and I only managed to attach six of the seven screws because there's another screw in there that I just could not get out because it went in too far. And I don't know, I think there's some kind of thin beam running horizontally behind the wall. Uh, and then there's also just exceptionally thick drywall and maybe, I don't know, maybe there's plaster. I have no idea what's going on back here. And I don't know, maybe I shouldn't trust this. It seems pretty solid, but... Anyway, I also made a gigantic mess in the progress. Uh, not to mention what's going on back here. The moral of the story is this is not my idea of fun. I should probably at least learn how to use powered tools before I try installing things with them because it turns out I had this thing set on going backwards for most of the entire time I was using it. Um, well, at first it was set backwards. Uh, I had no idea about setting that and I if I'd used it before, I would have some idea that the screws weren't supposed to be that difficult to get in with a power tool. It's because I was trying to screw them in backwards. So... <sighs> well, whatever. I've come this far, I might as well try setting the rest of it up. Shazam! It's done. And I even put up my world map poster that Emily got me. Thanks, Emily. Finally, right? And... Uh, here's the shelf which has been there, and I cleaned up over here. So I haven't broken down any of the boxes, so they're still providing like miniature surface space things. Oh, and I moved the rug in here. Um, so I think this is close to what my room is going to sort of look like when I'm finished with it. I guess I could put more stuff on the walls, but... For now, 
this is fine. Uh, no desk yet. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get one because the room is pretty small. And just as a demonstration, because I don't think I've shown you yet, here's where I keep most of my clothes under the bed. And there's another drawer here, which unfortunately because of the shelf doesn't open all the way, but that opens far enough for me to get my socks and underwear and stuff like that. So, yeah. there it is. Whoops. That's embarrassing. There it is. I'm pretty excited about this, even though I was super frustrated earlier and I never really want to deal with power drills again. Just me and power drills, we gotta give each other space. We gotta give ourselves time to understand our differences and it'll be fine. We'll work it out.